hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel and today my sister is gonna be leading this drawing lesson so let me pass on to her today hi um so we're gonna be drawing a birdie my sister here is going to be drawing a robin and i'm just gonna be doing a colored birdie for fun Right, to start off, we almost draw a tear shape on its side well, with you, with our Sharpies or black, black Sharpies. Or markers. You can use whatever markers <coughs> you'd like to. So, yeah, as I said, you can do a tear shape on its side. A tear? Yeah. Ooh. So, like, uh, my Sharpie's running out a bit. Do it a bit like this, oh, like that one here. Then. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. When you're doing a rob, if you're doing a robin, you can go do a little um, shape there. And because I'm not doing a robin, <coughs> I'm just going to do a wing. But because you're doing a robin, you don't need to do a wing. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a, that there as his wing. Next, what we're gonna do around just on the <coughs> curve, roughly there, I'm gonna do a little triangle. And this is gonna be his beak. We just do a line through his triangle, and so you have it, you have his beak. So before we do any colour, we now need to draw him an eye and some legs. So for the eye, we just do a little circle, colour it in black, just above where the um, beak is. I might do there. like a reflective eye. Good idea. So I think I'm just going to stick with a tiny button eye. Right, next, in order to do the legs, we do two lines, one further along and slightly shorter than the other, which proves distance. Just beneath his body. <coughs> then we can do three lines coming out of each of the legs, a bit like it, which is going to be his claw. So a bit like that. Mine's not very good at the moment. Just go over those lines to make it a little, little bit bigger. Right. So next, what we're going to do is use a red marker or whatever you like I'm using a sharpie and go over the beak in it doesn't matter if you're outside of the lines because all that matters is that you're having fun with this now it might not look like it makes much difference so it will look good when it comes to the time okay. if you're doing a robin what you're going to do is color in that little bit there but if you're doing if you've got if you're just doing a colored bird don't do that yet so for my coloured bird, I'm going to use blue and green Sharpies, but you can use whatever colours you'd like. I chose these two colours because I think they look nice and they go well together. So for the robin, you're going to use a brown or a brownish colour or no. bronze or whatever colour you would like to use to do the background. Can't I can find that one later. That. There we go. And you can just colour in that bit. Okay. Which so bit? The bit above where the robin's chest is. Right. So, so confused. What you need to colour in is this bit here. The bit with the eye in it that hasn't been done. You just colour in that tear shape. Oh, okay, so all doing. of it. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you go again. I will say, doesn't matter if you go out of the lines or whatever. Right. So now you could just fast forward this bit if you're doing um, a robin. But for my bit, I'm gonna yeah. As I said, I'm gonna use blue and green. So I think I'm going to use green to colour in this wing here. Just colour that in. And remember, guys, if we're going too fast for you at any point, just pause the video and catch up. And you can always watch the video again if you missed a step. But yeah, don't worry. Also, remember to subscribe. And if you like this video, um, then please put a like on it. Also, and don't forget to turn notifications. Right, yeah. And with this blue Sharpie, I am going to colour in the, the body of the um, bird. I mean, the green turned out a little bit like, uh, darker than I expected, but that's fine. As I said, you can use whatever colours you'd like to use, but it'd be quite cool if they contrasted. You can fast forward this bit if you'd like to just 
and then pause it whilst you catch up. She's done her robin and it looks really nice, don't you think? Like this video if you like it. Right. Don't forget you can do whatever colours bird you want. Or colours you can change it from a robin or a colourful bird. You can just make it your own. It can be an unknown species and just make it up. Mine is a very unknown species. It's just colours. <laughs> Put in a bird. <laughs> in a so, mine's not fully coloured in this blue sharpie's starting to run out. Well, it's a blue highlighter, <laughs> that's um, why. Oh, it's a highlighter, not a Right, anyway, um, this is what my overall bird looks like. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notifications button. Because we post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday and sometimes it even more. So don't forget to check out our other videos and yeah, just have fun with them. See you next time. Bye.